Okay, I got the curve cut. My wedge is made. It's right here. Sunk down, fits good. Just a little bit of curling, but I'll just cut that off with a knife. It's nothing major. It's tight. I just use the Gorilla wood glue. Get lots in there. I did forget to do something though. I forgot to trim it to size. Okay, I got it shaved on the side. crazy see how it made a different sound it's tight it's not going to go in anymore Okay, for this little bit of curling here, just like that with a knife. Doesn't take much. It's in there. We'll get it branded, give it a nice sanding, just with uh, 220, and we'll put some uh, vodka on it. Okay, I'm just scrapping this up. This is a baby grit right now. When you're sanding, try and go with the grain of the wood too. Won't uh, have nice, you won't have ugly sanding marks in it. Except for right here. 
I'll just clean it up a little bit from when I was grinding it. Doesn't take much. But I did notice on uh, some of the handles, the kerf was harder to cut in some than others. So that's the only thing I've noticed out of the handles, the difference. Quality's all good. Like I said, Jeff and I, we won't sell garbage. The grain of the wood, it's got to be perfect. Can't be all full of knots and junk, right? We're not about that. We're about quality. So yeah, this is just quick videos of this axe getting built and how I do them. So yeah, a little bit of elbow grease, 80 grit, then 220, it's like butter. Probably not doing justice on the video, but that is nice. And that is sharp. I just use a paintbrush, get in around the eye, let it soak in. Then you don't got a bunch of waste. I've got a big mess dripping everywhere. Same kind of paintbrush I use when I'm making chain. I'll do this a couple times today. 
don't forget about getting in that uh, hole they use on their uh, duplicator. these handles are dry so get uh, whatever you use doesn't matter I like using this black hole that works good and it looks nice but yeah get, a, get lots in them because they'll soak it up keep them from warping I never burnt this handle either. I just want a nice, nice clean handle. There's lots of character to it. Okay, that's it, completed. It was about an hour to complete the ox, start to finish. And it's a Craftsman High Test Tazzy pattern. This is four pound. Or four and a half, I don't remember. I think it's four pound. That's it. Okay, have a great day.